Now the first one that we'll go through is dynamometry. MVIC. We have several different, different options. Now think about it. How often do you use dynamometry? What is the reason that you don't use it? Is it not cost effective? Do you not know how to utilize it or use it? Is it difficult to set up? Well, I'm going to break through how it's so easy to do and you have so many options. The first option is a luggage scale. These are about eight to ten dollars. They measure zero to 44 pounds, but they only have a continual force measurement, meaning they're not going to lock out and hold a value at the top amount of pressure. So these often aren't the best choices for lower quarter or even upper quarter testing, but it's a pretty cost-effective, inexpensive option that you can use. The next, a grip dynamometer. Most of you have this around the clinic. You can rig a dynamometer to test lower quarter strength. All you need are two extra straps, and I'll go through exactly how to do that. They go through zero to about 200 pounds of force. They measure peak force, and they have a fixed test time. The third option, which is actually my favorite, is a crane scale. These are about $50. They measure zero to 600 pounds of force. They measure a peak force, they're tested, they're rated, and they have a fixed test time. And the final option is a dynamometer. These are more expensive, they're used in research. They're about $1,000 onwards and upwards. And they measure zero to 300 pounds and they have additional parameters that they test. Time to reach peak force, variables, rotation, and average force as well.